souvenirs to commemorate the festival, for example, a branded t-shirt or backpack. And uh, it's, uh, it would be really, really good support of this year festival. And about questions. So I am a moderator, but you can also uh, ask questions in the stream, uh, in the st uh, stream comments, and then I'll forward uh, them to our uh, today's guest, our filmmakers. And I also want to talk about another new question tool that you can uh, you can uh, use. This is uh, um, uh, you can communicate with filmmakers by your own. And at the bottom of each film page, at DocuSpace, uh, you can uh, uh, there is a there is a button, and you can make short videos for filmmakers. For example, you can share your opinion, or you can ask something, and um, very likely you will get your like your personal video response. And I really invite you to uh, continue to ask questions to our guest uh, even after our event and today our discussion is called made in china and this is the first event from the series of events which is called soup with filmmakers uh, all soups with filmmakers will be held at lunch time uh, 1 pm every day during the festival and uh, for example tomorrow uh, there will be another soup, uh, and the topic is how not to be afraid. Talk about solidarity. Uh, but okay, let's start our uh, our event today, and uh, I want to introduce our guests. Uh, so today we will talk with Ifan Sun. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Uh, and also Leo Chan. Hi. And Yang Sun. Uh, yeah, so uh, Ifan Sun is representing, uh, is representing her short movie, which is called Family 2, and Leo Chan and Yang Family Sun. Family Squared. Ah, yeah, okay. Sorry. And it's, yeah, thank you. And uh, uh, Leo Chan and Yang Sun is uh, representing another film, which is called Our Time Machine. Uh, I just want to say one more time that you can find all the movies and watch these movies uh, during uh, on the DocuSpace org. Uh, but one important note is that uh, some of the movies um, have viewers limit. So just uh, also I encourage you to uh, watch it like this weekend, for example. So uh, we want to, uh, like China always have been in focus lately, like in the world, but now because of this uh, pandemic, uh, uh, you know, you, you will put a lot of personal feelings in storytelling and uh, you, and so that's a, the story is about his father's illness and his pain. So if you, the uh, two, you know, it's too aggressive maybe aggressive. you know to uh, too uh, yeah too aggressive if you want to you know you as a documentary film you, you always want to capture the the you know the the most uh, the very close feeling of anything so, but it's uh, because the uh, Malian is very sensitive artist, and uh, it's the whole story about his pen. So you can't be too close. But if if, if it's you stay far, and uh, you will shoot nothing about the relationship because the relationship between father and son is like a very not that strong strong or not that intense it's very uh yeah um there was a, also she the last question from her was like how did you convince malam to tell his personal story on the screen D did you did you convince him or yeah malam it's uh he he loves to to to, to talk actually mm -hmm. he hey so I 
yeah, it's 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 easy to let him talk about how he he feels, and uh, you just need to deal. So, yeah. so you know, I mean, this is a family of performers, right? The parents are not. The mother is a very well-known actress. The father yes. is a director, but director. he's also, yeah, he he also grew up in the Peking Opera as a performer. And mm -hmm. Madame was actually a child actor. So all three of them, you know, and and I don't know what the sister did, did if the sister did any performing or not, but they're very much comfortable in front of cameras. And and if anything, uh, I think that the 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 parents were really excited when Young shows up with the camera because they really see Young you know, as a, the next generation storyteller in China, try to uh, capture, you know, try to discover their work because, you know, Ma Liang's father very much uh, is concerned and is worried about people not caring about the traditional arts anymore, right? Yeah. So in the footage, we, we constantly see, you know, Ma Liang's father being very thankful and really, you know, always very happy to share whatever story and answer whatever questions that we have for, for them. Um, I think uh, you know with with the relationship between between Yang and Ma Liang, it's actually really interesting because um, Yang still addresses Ma Liang as Lao Shi, like it's very much still calls him teacher, um, you know. And, and and for me, it's sort of this constant struggle of you cannot be too respectful with your subjects because then you don't get the intimacy. But at the same time, there is this um, you know social norm. You know, that especially in in a in, in a, uh, a family structure or the, the structure that, that China has, which is that you do respect your elders, that that it's mm -hmm. it's it's hard to break through that. You know, so we did actually, you know, throughout the editing process, we did come into some issues of like you know certain moments where we feel like we needed to get closer to Maliang that we weren't close up close enough to Maliang. Um, you know, mm -hmm. if you've seen the film, we use the, the device of the letters. And that was actually one of the devices that we came up with so we can get inside Ma Liang's head. And a lot of that writing from the letters actually came from Ma Liang's own writing. He's actually a published author. He's written several books. And, and like any artist, people are obsessed with the same themes, right? No matter what medium they work in. So in his books, he talks about family. He talks, talks about nice. time and memory and all that. So we were able to extract some of that, that writing and then put it in, in, in the, the in film the and that actually, right, allowed the audience to feel like they're close to Ma Liang and to be inside Ma Liang's head. I see. Okay, and what uh, one uh, important notice for our viewers and for our audience uh, um, that uh, the, this Our Time Machine, the movie our filmmakers are talking now, uh, has additional soundtrack in the movie describing the visual part of the tape for blind viewers. Uh, and this is for all who are watching through the website. And to get access to the sound recording, all you have to do is to download the app application to your phone which is called ear catch so this is like very inclusive moment that for like you know which you give opportunity for uh, all kind of viewers to watch watch the movie okay actually, can, can i can i say something i just yes. want to acknowledge that that's we that we, we didn't actually do that ourselves we were part of the real abilities film festival which is a, a film festival that's a traveling film festival that's based in new york but they have different festivals around the world and they offer their films to dis disabled viewers and that's wow. why they have the audio description uh that that you are able to access in the film um there's also closed captioning if you are you know having a hard time reading you can actually turn it on and be able to read uh, the dialogue and describing what the sound effects that's in the film. Oh, but it's really interesting, and yeah, it's yeah. I think it's it's very nice and pro like very progressive. Um, and okay, so um, we uh, I check I just checked now. We don't have any more questions from the audience now, but we can uh, this, uh, continue our talk. We still have some time, and um, okay, and. Um, I was also uh, asking, uh, I wanted to ask uh, Ifan uh, still about this, uh, about um, your short uh, movie and um, like I wanted to talk a, a bit more about women, like, uh, you know, <laughs> because like, uh, you know, I'm a woman, you're a woman and we can share these things. Like, don't you think that um, uh, like women uh, were very obedient during this time, you all these years, like um, not uh, like 
it was not any protests or uh, I don't know. It's really uh, such a because I know that there was another movie uh, like should be screened during the festival also about this one child policy and I've heard that there are some books published about one child policy and really a lot of talk about this and when I lived in China I just saw that with one child that um, the single children in family because become like small kings you know you have you like you know like really there is this um, idea that like I, I forgot how it's in Chinese but like that everything for little one child emperor. yes little oh exactly little emperor yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, yes and uh, I don't know and I I really think that um, like what can you say <laughs> I think it's partially true that's for sure because uh, like before one family used to have more children at least two and after this one child policy policy in cities uh, every family like almost almost every family only had one child and this one child is precious do you have a lot of pressure as you being one child no, like for like in my case, I think I have a very, how to say that, uh, my parents are very, are very cool. So they, they didn't give me like, like a very much pressure and you must be someone or you must do this or you need to get what kind of grade. They never gave me such pressure during my growing up yeah okay and but i yeah. think like yeah. because i'm a girl also like really chinese people <laughs> chinese parents they treat boys and girls differently that's that's really? true yeah, yeah. Oh. maybe you can that's, ask young maybe he yeah can that's that's, that's, that's pathetic yeah i'm like uh, the real little empire <laughs> in my family actually yeah <clears throat> so <laughs> Yeah, I almost uh, won't do everything if I want. Yeah, and He's still yeah, now. Uh, yeah, now it's yeah, <laughs> not really. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, th that's true. Yeah, for for a girl, it's gonna be you know different situation, I think. But it yeah, it happens a lot. In yeah, we are both. Uh, how uh, how old are you, Ifan? Yeah, I'm both? from eighty eight. 88. 88? Uh, I'm 89. Yeah, we're, we're totally the same uh, generation. Yeah. I am to 89. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Palin Hold. Yeah. No, no, Leo, Leo is like the yeah. 30, uh, 30, 35. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> our, our loss. <laughs> well, yeah but okay mm, and uh, how are okay we still have some some minutes uh, and i just want to to say our audience and to introduce that um there will be also the next event the next stream uh which is called um uh, which is called covid19 can um, are we prepared to compromise on our rights and this will be the the topic of the next uh, stream and maybe you can also say uh, some <laughs> what do you think can we compromise uh, on our rights in this situation i think this is the most the most uh, important questions that we all ask all over the world asking uh, ourselves now because we gave our rights so freely we locked at homes and we, we just listen what our government is telling us that maybe you can you have something to share about this mm. <laughs> i think it really depends on what kind of rights we are talking about like like locking at home and stay at home this is something i think we must follow if we want to flatten the curve we want to over you know overcome the pandemic we must do this and other rights um uh, maybe you can bring one up 
<laughs> well, I, 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 I'll, I'll chime in with the Taiwanese situation. I, I know that this, you know, there in, in China too, that there's a lot of tracking via cell phones and whatnot with the QR code. Um, in Taiwan, uh, the government has uh, uh, basically approached all the telecommunications company and asked for cell phone data. And that's actually been a problem for the Taiwanese population. People are uncomfortable, but at the same time, people feel like it needs to be done. Um, I think, though, the most re recent situation was that, that, that a couple of days ago, uh, there's a, a boat, a Navy boat that went to Palau in the Pacific and came back with uh, 20 plus cases of infection and uh, the the military people actually were allowed to leave the boat because they didn't know that some of the sailors were positive and and then when they found out, they had to call everybody back but then they had tracked all the different places that these you know infected individuals went to and they had sent text out to all the people that they thought was in the same location as these people who are infected. So something like 200,000 Taiwanese citizens got a text saying you were within one kilometer of an infected individual. I think that's in, in, in many ways to a lot of people, that's very creepy, right? To have the government know that you are somewhere without you knowing that the government knows you're somewhere, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> with, with our time, you know. Yes, unfortunately, yeah, we, because we, we were late. We are, we are all tech. tracked. Yeah, track. I want to thank you for this uh, interesting conversation. And uh, unfortunately, we had uh, a bit less time, 40 minutes instead of one hour. And But it really was very interesting talk. And I'm glad that you could share the information uh, more about movies. And I'm really encouraging uh, all the viewers to watch uh, this, um, our today's um, two movies that we were talking about. <laughs> and uh, I think, yeah, okay, yeah. and we'll check. Thank uh, you, Svetlana. The, yeah, yeah, we'll check the time Thank with the with the, our um, technical team now. Uh, okay, maybe we, we are not uh, disconnected yet. <laughs> and yeah, it's really it's really tricky with this new because uh, so uh, we are the first uh, soup with filmmakers. There will be this every every day. There will be this more soups, uh, but we are testing today, like you know, the first time. And it was this introductive uh, introductive soup, let's say, because so many talks about China now in the world, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. why we decided that it would be it would be a good idea to have this uh, event also uh, uh, connecting a bit our movies in the in the um, from the festival yeah okay so thank guys you. thank you very much yeah thank you very much yeah, thank, and you. thank you good luck yeah okay bye 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 bye